Um, you know, the, the, the cells today in every car are carried like a sack of potatoes. Exactly. They, have, they, they actually have negative uh, structural value. You just heard Elon Musk pull no punches, calling today's EV batteries basically a sack of potatoes. But that era is over. Tesla is now officially ready to launch its first solid-state battery. Lighter, stronger, safer, and most importantly, cheaper than ever. This could be the biggest leap since Tesla was founded. In today's video, we break down. Why does Elon say current batteries are structurally useless? How does Tesla's solid-state battery stack up against the 4680? And what's the shockingly low price Tesla is aiming for? The answers might change how you see the future of EVs. Welcome to Auto Gear Shift, the channel where EV innovation meets no-nonsense analysis. We break down the boldest moves from Tesla, cutting-edge robotics, and future-forward tech, all in one place, tailored for smart viewers like you. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Help Auto Gear Shift reach our next milestone, 1,399 subscribers and counting. Every click powers us forward, and your early support makes a huge difference. Let's shift into high gear together. 1. How are EV batteries secretly holding back innovation? Because um, not only do they need to be, not only do they, they don't serve to um, aid in the structure of the car, and they um, they have to be isolated from the rest, you know, from the rest of the car. So it's isolated from, you know, vibration and shock loads and that kind of thing. So so then you've got to put mass into isolating the the, the cells, because um, um, otherwise they'll they'll bang against the side of the the battery casing, and that's right. that's not good. When Elon Musk called today's EV batteries a sack of potatoes, he wasn't joking. And he definitely wasn't wrong. Underneath every electric car on the road today lies a design flaw that few talk about. But every engineer knows. Conventional lithium-ion cells don't add strength. They subtract it. Instead of reinforcing the vehicle's chassis, current battery packs are treated like fragile cargo. The cells have to be suspended and isolated protected from road vibration, impact, and temperature swings. That means engineers must add more structural components just to protect the battery itself, not to support the car. The result? Extra materials, extra mass, and zero structural gain. And that's only the beginning. The need for safety adds even more dead weight. Foam padding, rubber seals, cooling trays, steel casing, none of which contributes to driving range or power. It's wasted energy in motion, especially painful for compact EVs that can't afford the weight. Worse still, the system is fragile. One hard bump, and if a cell hits the casing wall, the battery could fail or catch fire. So automakers go overboard with cushioning and separation, driving up costs and complexity. This isn't just inefficient. It's a design bottleneck that's slowing down the evolution of electric vehicles. The current battery architecture doesn't just take up space. It limits how light, safe, and affordable future EVs can become. 2. How is Tesla's solid-state battery the ultimate structural breakthrough? Tesla isn't just replacing old battery cells. They're transforming the battery into an active structural core of the vehicle. For the first time in the EV era, the battery pack isn't a liability to be protected. It's a strength to be built upon. Current EV batteries use pouch or cylindrical cells suspended in casings, isolated by foam, gaskets, and cooling systems. All of that adds dead weight. Worse, these components do nothing to support the structure of the car. Elon Musk put it bluntly. Cells today are carried like a sack of potatoes, they have negative structural value. But with solid state, Tesla is flipping the script. These new cells are designed to integrate directly into the car's frame, eliminating trays, modules, and vibration barriers. The electrolyte is solid, often a lithium-stabilized ceramic or sulfide compound, which means no need for cooling fluid or rubber shock absorbers. Every gram of material now serves a purpose, structure, storage, or safety. That's true functional integration. The impact? Massive. Tesla can now reduce battery pack volume by up to 
while boosting energy density to upward of 450 to 500 watt-hours per liter. Compare that to approximately 260 watt-hours per liter for legacy lithium-ion and approximately 360 watt-hours per liter for the current 4680 cell. This allows for equal range in a smaller pack, or 30 to 40% more range in the same space. But range isn't the only gain. Solid-state chemistry also brings exceptional thermal stability. No liquid means no risk of boiling, leaking, or thermal runaway. These cells can tolerate temperatures up to 120 degrees Celsius, 248 degrees Fahrenheit, without performance loss or fire risk, an unmatched safety profile especially in crashes. Internal Tesla simulations suggest a 95% drop in fire risk versus current packs under direct impact. Then, there's longevity. While standard EV batteries often degrade 20 to 30% after 1,000 charge cycles, Tesla's solid-state cells, based on lithium-sulfur variants, show less than 8% degradation after 1,500 full cycles. That's over 450,000 miles of driving with negligible performance drop, more than the lifetime of most vehicles. And this is no longer a lab experiment. The leaked engineering documents show Tesla has already begun pilot-scale solid-state casting at Giga Texas, with structural integration designed for both the next-gen compact EV and Cybertruck updates. This tech isn't years away. It's here. It's real. And it could be mass-produced as early as Q1 2026, at a cost potentially 25-30% to 30 lower per kilowatt-hour than current 4,680 packs. 3. How is Tesla about to shock the market with sub-$60 solid-state batteries? This is the part most people didn't see coming. According to internal supply chain data, Tesla isn't just building a better battery, they're preparing to sell it at a record low price. The company's solid-state battery is targeting a cost of under $60 per kilowatt-hour, shattering the current benchmark even for Tesla's own 4680 cells which hover between $85 and $90 per kilowatt-hour. To put that in context, traditional 2,170 cells used in many EVs today still cost around $115 per kilowatt-hour. This price drop isn't incremental, it's disruptive. And it's not just about margins. At this level, the battery pack in a next-gen Model 2 could cost $3,000 to $5,000 less than it would using today's lithium-ion architecture. That's the financial breakthrough Tesla needs to sell a mass-market EV under $25,000 without sacrificing performance or range. It's a direct strike at combustion engines, and every EV competitor still stuck with more expensive battery platforms. From the factory floor, Tesla's internal timeline is just as aggressive. Sources from Giga Texas confirm that pilot testing wrapped in quarter 1 2025, with cell casting lines already being replicated at Giga Nevada, where full production setup begins in quarter 2 2025. If all goes to plan, the first production vehicle using Tesla's solid-state battery will be the long-awaited Model 2, hitting roads by the end of 2025. By 2027, Tesla is expected to transition both the Model 3 and Model Y entirely to solid-state architecture, replacing over 70% of its global EV volume with a lighter, cheaper, and structurally integrated battery pack. So, what do you think? Will Tesla's solid-state battery finally kill off combustion once and for all? Or will legacy automakers catch up before it scales? And would you consider buying a Model 2 under $25,000 if it packs this new battery tech? If this video sparked some thoughts, hit that like button, drop your take in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to Auto Gear Shift. Smash the bell so you never miss the next EV breakthrough. We're just getting started.